winter's end event. Um, so we got all the way to the end of chapter two, well, nearly anyway. But this here, the find two legendary heroes. That's something that um, screwed me because I went in the shop, bought a legendary chest. But that doesn't count. You have to get it from like, one of these chests or from a summon, which obviously for the like this here, the demigods, you buy ten of those, you guarantee the legendary sort of thing. But yeah, I wasn't too happy and too impressed with the fact that I bought a legendary chest, but it didn't count towards my legendary chest, so. We got to chapter two, we got through one of the bonus, bonus, um, legendary chests there. Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed to be honest, because I was, I was very excited thinking, yes there's one, and then, you know, we could get some gems and maybe buy the ten, demigod ones and get up there, but the all we've got from, from the Winter's End event is, we've got this fella up to 470, deep more. Gives Toxin 25% to every enemy except the building. Start of turn gives plus 7 to allies in line, including himself for every enemy on the field. And he also has evasion. So, potentially, he could actually be a very, very strong and viable unit, I reckon. Just about plus 7. So, you know, you, you put him in that the enemy's got 3, 4 people on their, on their field already. You drop him in. He survives that one turn, that next turn, everyone in that line is going to get plus 21 to their attack, so... We can actually soul bind him three times. Which is... <laughs> yeah, so that's plus six. Plus seven for his health. So that's seven damage. Peace. Um... And so the other person we got was... I can't even remember now. Who did we get? Oh, the Iceman. We've got him up to level 5. I think people already know about Iceberg. He, he's pretty, uh, a pretty generic one has been around for a while. In the turn, gets plus 5 for each hero in line. Attack, freezes enemy for one turn, and he gets 9 blocks. So, again, pretty strong. Pretty strong character. Especially with the plus 5 for himself, each hero in line. But the block 9, if you get that block up a bit more, which... Uh, what does is, what is the block 9 get up to? So... Look at that, level 6, and he's got 15 block, that's huge, that's a huge amount to have, so, Jesus, yeah, he's getting up to 24 block, bloody hell, yeah, so he, he's a very viable character, and then the uh, last one is, Melia Maya, call her Maya, she's, Enemy poison trigger deals 5 to 10 for enemy warlord. Oh, spike. Allies and spikes trigger gives plus 12 to allies and it's her poison is 5 to random enemies. So, she's a bit hit and miss for me. I'm not overly impressed with her at all. She could be alright for doing some like, you know, extra damage on the survival of the same theory. Side, that are poison, maybe mix over with this guy that can poison people as well. You know, you can poison around the thing, but I don't have actually. Oh, I suppose you could combo her with Queen, but. Oh, she's too weak for me at the moment. The only thing I was disappointed about with this whole thing was if I could find her. Because oh, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to upgrade. Oh yeah, but this is like Lady Wild, so we got her at level 8 after being reborn once, twice. So she's at my 800, which is not overly strong or anything. She's just got the might, the powers there. But I had her, no, she, she, I had her nearly a thousand, thousand cards, so I couldn't have got her up another few levels, but I just had to, I just went through and I just had to do it, and I just gave it to her so she could go, because I only had five cards of her or something in the end, so... All in all, the event wasn't too bad. It was a couple of disappointing things. Like the fact that I just couldn't get those last two chests. Like I'd have to go through and spend, you know, 50 bucks right now to be able to go through and get that, which is not to do. So, yeah. That's, that's a little bit of a 
overall disappointed, I suppose. <laughs> but can't do that. We'll just have to deal with it. Go yeah. with the Wait for the next one to keep our fingers crossed. Maybe we can fit up our jams. Don't worry so much about everything else, but. I don't know how that's going to go. Might be right. It might go a little bit far. <laughs> well, absolutely nothing's happening or going to happen, so. Um, what else is there to say? I think that's about all to say. We might start that video up here with a little quick one about the winter's event. How it's going to be. But yeah, so. Oh well, you know, like I said, next event, that's where hopefully we can get some damage done. So, until then, <laughs> let me know in the comments below how your event went, what character you got them, all three legendaries, what level they're at. Also, I want to know what teams you're running, and also a guild. I need a, I need a guild because the current guild that I'm in is just nine members. And we're getting smashed all the time, so I just need a constant a, a guild that's active that I can get into and be a part of. Uh, so let me know in the comments below. Subscribe, like, all that sort of rubbish, all that jazz, jazz heads. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next video, which we'll do at the next event. We'll post another video or two on how we went.